everybody, welcome to my channel. It is that time again. It is that time for another anti Also, sit back, get comfy, grab a beverage. Mine is in what is quite possibly the tackiest Christmas mug of all time. Let's bask in the tack together. Look at this pheasant up here. He's even judging this mug and he is on it. I got this mug from a friend of mine who, knowing this friend, I am not sure if he really thought that this was like the epitome of elegance and class or if he really thought that it was heinous. And I think he just gave this to me and he was gonna wait and see what I thought about it. And if I agreed with him that it was tacky, he would laugh with me. And if I thought it was amazing, he would laugh at me with friends like these. Anyway, let's start talking trash about some products. So first up on the chopping block is a hair care set that is just outrageously priced. It's the Gloss Modern High Gloss Shampoo Conditioner Duo. It is 80 gosh darn dollars. And if you bought the product separately, it would be $90. And I am so sorry, but there isn't any hair product in the world that is worth that much of money. $45 a bottle for shampoo. Shampoo, for that price, it better be real poo. Demand real poo. Moving on. NARS, one of my favorite makeup brands, right? One of the unquestionable greats, but they still have some duds. The NARS Give and Take Dual Intensity Eye and Cheek Palette. So this is basically a wet dry palette of shadows and blushes. That's all it is. It's $69, you guys, and look at the cover. Look at the cover. Shrink-wrapped Dexter victim awaiting the business end of a claw hammer. You're welcome. Next up is the Dior Couture Collection Palette. Limited edition holiday palette. You get a highlighter, you get a blush, you get six eyeshadows and two lip cream things, and you're supposed to be able to create all kinds of looks for day and tonight. Blah, 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 what does almost every palette say? The thing is, it's 89 bucks. And may I remind you, when you are buying a limited edition holiday item, it doesn't matter what the brand is. It could be Dior, it could be Chanel, doesn't matter. The quality is often less than their normal collection items because they're limited edition, because in a few months you can't find it anymore. And so if people go online and bitch about the quality, well, guess what? They're not losing money because people have already bought the palette and it's no longer being sold. So you can't say, oh, it's Chanel, it's Dior, it's Nars, it's whoever. This is automatically going to be a, a great palette because it ain't. Let me give you folks some alternatives, okay? Check it out. This is one of the NYX to go palettes. You get six eyeshadows, day or night, right? You have highlighter, blush, and either a bronzer or a contour. You have the NYX Love Contours All Palette, which has more stuff in it than the Dior, right? You have two highlighters, you have a blush, you have a contour, you have eyebrow products, and you have nine eyeshadows. If you want a palette that has lip creams in it, I got you covered too. Look, it's the Forever Nude from BH. And it was, how much did I pay for this? 11 bucks, I think. And it has just as much stuff as the Dior. Actually, it has more because it has two blushes and it has a matte highlighter. So it's like, it's $89, you guys. That's like my grocery bill for two weeks. Now, the last item is the worst. And I'm talking about the Clinique Very Honey Holiday Eye Palette. Look at this monstrosity. If you're trypophobic, by the way, if you're afraid of holes, you've probably already run out of the room because look at this. It looks like Swiss cheese. What is going on here? And by the way, when I had the window minimized in my browser where I had this product open and ready to go, I misread it as the very horny holiday eye palette. But let me tell you something, this doesn't make me horny at all. This is just a hot flipping mess. Disregard the fact for a minute that the eyeshadow pans are all different sizes and they kind of look like somebody sneezed on a Kleenex and wherever the boogers went, that's where they put the shadow pans. That's literally what it looks like. But you have so many colors in here that are practically identical. They are virtually indistinguishable from each other. Like what? So basically they're supposed to be what, 13 eyeshadows in here, but I would say a good six are basically dupes. And this is a $32.5 palette, by the way. And the promotional copy from Clinique 
get this, is saying that you get, it comes with three highlight, contour, and definer brushes, plus a sponge applicator for a beautiful finish. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. I call you out, Clinique, on your crap. Nobody has ever created a beautiful finish with a sponge applicator. Nobody, literally no one. It's practically impossible. And the three brushes are this big. Of course they're limited edition because you have to shove them in the palette because there ain't nobody gonna buy them otherwise because they're crap. These brushes, this ain't a selling point, Clinique, okay? It's just not. They're Look at this thing! What? No! 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 No. I have to find my happy place now. Now, if you are truly attracted to these colors, they're beautiful colors, they're wearable colors. You have a nice selection of mauve and pink and tan and there's like a dark great purple in there. Awesome! But don't spend $32.50 on this palette, it's not necessary. If you want to expand your makeup collection of those colors, you can spend $14 and also get, by the way, four cheek and face products. Do you know what I'm going to recommend you buy? You know it, right? If you've been on my channel for a while, you know what I'm about to whip out and show you, right? $14, the Carly Bible palette from BH. Practically identical, plus you get the cheek products down here. 14 times 2 is 28. So it's less than half as expensive as this Clinique thing. The Swiss cheese palette. That's what we're gonna call it, the Swiss cheese palette. Anyway guys, I think that's about enough snarkaroonie for today. So thank you so much for watching and for commenting, subscribing, and the best way you can help the channel out is just hit the thumbs up button. I would love that. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you're having a great time doing whatever it is y'all doing. I hope you're saving money by not buying these ridiculous products. And I will look forward to seeing you guys real soon in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.